This is the so-called greatest integer function. And what does it do? Well, you might have guessed, it outputs the greatest integer of x. Now I've seen it denoted like this. I've also seen a double bracket before. And I've also seen only like these lower brackets. So sometimes the greatest integer function is called the floor function. And this one is usually what people mean when they say the floor function. I guess the little lower brackets make a floor. And what does this thing do? Well, as we said, it's the greatest integer function. It outputs the greatest integer less than or equal to the input. So if I plug in 2, the greatest integer less than or equal to 2 is 2. Remember, integers are whole numbers. But if I put in something like f of 2.1, What's the greatest integer less than or equal to 2.1? It's still just 2. What about if I plug in 2.7? What's the greatest integer less than or equal to 2.7? It's still 2. Right? We don't round up. Basically, we're always rounding down. That's the idea. Here's the graph of it. You can see it kind of makes this staircase. So you might even call this a staircase function. But it works exactly the way we just described. If I plug in 0, what's the greatest integer less than or equal to 0? Well, the output would be 0. And any number in between 0 and 1 would also output 0. Like if I plug in 0.5, I would round down to 0. Notice the closed circles on the left and the open circles on the right. That's because the greatest integer less than or equal to 1 is positive 1. So this is the graph. It's a good thing to know in the situations where it comes up, but this was just a brief intro to the greatest integer function. I hope you have a great day.